Welcome to this lesson on using layer visibility and transparency in animations. There are many reasons why you might want to control layer visibility when creating a video. In this example, we've georeferenced Hokusai's famous painting, The Great Wave of Kanagawa, into a 3D view, and we want to show how the Mount Fuji in the painting lines up with the Mount Fuji in our virtual world. We can do that by toggling layer visibility. So, when we create a keyframe with a layer off, and a keyframe with a layer on, you'll see that these states are automatically captured for us. That is, animations have a what you see is what you get policy. But right now, the visual effect is a bit abrupt. If we want to do this a bit smoother, we can use layer transparency rather than visibility, and it works in exactly the same way. Let's go back to this keyframe, and instead of turning the layer off, let's make it 90% transparent. We'll update the existing keyframe with this new layer setting and leave the other ones around it as is, that is, with no transparency. And now, when we replay the animation, we get this nice, gradual, disappearing effect for the layer. Fading layers in and out of the display can work well for many scenes, and it's simply a matter of configuring a layer property and then capturing it into your keyframes.